What makes a rivalry? What differences cast two sides as enemies? Ideology, religion, territory, or just good old-fashioned hate? In Algeria, one game transcends all of them. MC Alger and USM Alger are two of this region's most popular clubs, and their meeting on the field is called Derby Algiers. But born of the same streets and cloaked in the same history, they're known here as the fraternal enemies. Because in Algeria, the legacy of the game they play stretches beyond the field. And it's not a force that divides, it's a spectacle that unites. We're in Algiers, the capital of Algeria, specifically in the Casbah neighborhood, which was the epicenter of the Algerian revolution. We came here to see the Big Derby, which is North Africa's biggest football match between MC Algiers and USMA. The story of soccer in Algeria is the story of Algeria itself. In a country that's just 50 years young, still forming its own identity and infrastructure, this sport is more than a national pastime. It heralded the birth of a nation. It took years of revolution for this French colony to redraw a map with their own name. But as they did, soccer became a symbol of Algerian identity, before Algeria even had a country to call its own. And every year, this rich history is channeled through Derby Algiers, the rivalry between two teams born of the Casbah itself. C'est toute l'Algérie qui attend ce derby. C'est tout le monde arabe qui attend ce derby. Chaque parcelle de, de l'Algérie qui est un grand, grand, grand pays, euh, tous les jours, on trouve des gens euh, mettre euh, des pierres pour faire des buts et, et, et jouer au football. Donc, euh, donc on sait qu'on joue un rôle très, très, très important dans, dans, dans cette société. Midfielder Amir Karawi grew up knowing only two teams. MC Alger and USMA, the yin and yang of Algerian soccer. Founded in 1921, MC Alger is one of the oldest clubs in Algeria. But around here, it's known as Maloudia for the celebration of the Maloud, the birth of the Prophet Muhammad. Just 16 years later, blocks away within the Kasbah, club USM Alger was born. They would go on to become one of the most successful clubs in the country's history, claiming eight Algerian cups. Par là, nous, en tant que joueurs, en tant que jeunes joueurs, on comprend que, que, voilà, que, que ce, ce club est directement lié à la Révolution. Mais nous, derrière, il y, y a beaucoup de choses. Et, et quand, on les, quand elle les met les unes derrière les autres, eh ben, ça devient le match de, 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 de ta vie. Algiers is a city transformed when the derby draws near. The streets are drenched in red, black, and green. The colors of Usma and Maloudia, together the Algerian flag. Here, Derby Day is as much a celebration as Independence Day. No, Maloudia is the history of Algiers. Who's the best soccer team in Algeria? Who's the best soccer team in Algeria? Yeah. Maloudia, of course, it's Maloudia. My father is a fan, my grandfather is a fan, and my son will be a fan. If he will not be a fan, I will kill him. 
So how are you going to win on Friday? Who are your best players? We are not fans of players. We are fans of the team, of the colors of the team. That's it. And what are you know, the players come and go, but the team, oh, God, the ball, always God, the ball. Une victoire dans le derby, elle vaut, elle vaut tout. Un petit exemple, les supporters de Luchma sont descendus, ça fait deux jours, à l'entraînement, ils leur ont dit on ne veut pas le championnat, on veut battre le Mouloudia. Mohamed Saad est un sports reporter et former editor in chief de Le Boutet, le plus grand journal sports paper en Algérie. Et over ses 13 ans là, il a vu le derby devenir plus que juste un meeting entre les deux plus grands clubs. C'est un reminder of how the game came here in the first place. Les deux clubs ils ont été créés pendant les, la période de, de la colonisation. Donc c'était deux clubs plutôt politiques qui luttaient pour l'indépendance de l'Algérie. A lot of people talk about soccer and the revolution. Um, it seems very hard to believe that soccer played a serious role in the revolution, but is is it true? Naturellement, naturellement bien sûr que c'est vrai. En Algérie, c'est simple, il y avait des clubs musulmans et des clubs coloniaux. Et quand il y avait un match entre un club musulman et un club colonial, euh, je, je, je parie que c'était pratiquement la guerre sur le terrain. It's the night before the Derby and we're at USM's home stadium. They're practicing their song and cheers for the Derby. One of the coolest things about the Derby is that the teams both have their own songs, their own soundtracks, their own artists, and these songs actually chart higher than any other music in the entire country. The nearly 100,000 person capacity of the 5th of July stadium is never enough for Derby Algiers. And named for the very date that Algeria won its independence from France, it's more than an arena. It's the field where sports and history collide. basically call to each other side to side. Usma's second gives them a commanding lead and electrifies the entire 5th of July stadium. 2015, no! 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 The derby USMA has always been a folklore extraordinary. The winner of the derby était le champion de l'Algérois. Pas d'Algérie, mais de l'Algérois. In the 87th minute, after playing down 
two goals the entire match. Maludia scored an equalizer to draw even with their Usma brothers. It was a fitting end to a derby defined not by hatred, but by love.